Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a highly requested one. I'm gonna be showing you a week in the life of my curls. Well, I say a week. I usually wash my hair on about a day four or five, so I'm basically gonna be popping on every day to show you how my hair looks each day, how it changes, as well as how I wear my hair to sleep and how I wear my hair to work out if I can be bothered to work out this week. My curls do not look perfect all the time and that is completely normal. I only realistically get about three good hair days out of a wash day and that is a massive improvement on when I first started looking after my curls and it's so normal, especially for my hair type, for it to stretch out between wash days and yeah, I just wanna share that with you. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Lily Silk, whose sleep accessories I absolutely love but I'll get onto that a little bit later on in the video. Let's go ahead. So today was wash day, today is my day one hair and I'm really impressed with it. I think I've had a really great wash day, I'm really really happy. I've got a really good mix of definition but also volume which I do struggle to get on a wash day so I'm happy about that. I used some products that I love today so I started off with the Curlsmith Featherlight Protein Cream and then I went in with the foam and that is what has given me the volume and then to finish off I locked it all in with the In Shower Style Fixer which is a strong hold gel. You can see how I style with these products in a previous video on my channel. I actually usually, instead of the protein cream, use the Hold Me Softly Style Balm. And the reason that I went for the protein cream today instead of the Hold Me Softly Style Balm is because my hair's been wanting a lot of protein recently. So I'm interested to see how this combination lasts throughout the wash week. Um, I don't think I've used those three products together before. I've used them all separately and in other combinations, but yeah, I'm interested to see how it holds up. Let me show you the back as well, because I always forget that. There you go. I have absolutely no idea what the back looks like. I can't see the back, so it doesn't matter to me. But yeah, these are my results, and I'll pop on either a little bit later on today if there's any change in my hair, or tomorrow to show you my day two curls. See you later. Good morning, it is now day two and this is my day two hair. So obviously I protected it overnight and then this morning all I did was just shake my hair out in the steam of the shower. So this is the before when I took my hair out of its pineapple bun this morning. A lot of people say when they take their hair out in the morning it looks a mess, the curls have disappeared, they're stretched out. This pineapple does stop that from happening but only to a certain extent. So when I take my hair out it does need a little bit of time to settle and something that really helps me is shaking my hair out in the steam of the shower literally just at the end of my shower in the morning I take my hair out of the pineapple give it a shake glaze my wet hands over it so it's slightly damp and that helps redefine some of my little curl clumps and yeah then I just let it air dry with some root clips in so these are my results today and I feel like I use a little bit too much protein yesterday in on my wash day I think because I used the protein cream and the protein foam, it might have just been a little bit too much for my hair. I think maybe it didn't need as much as I thought it did. So I might show you how I do a quick refresh in a little bit. But first, I just wanna to talk to you about overnight hair protection. So day two is usually my favorite hair day because day one is a little bit too soft, but day two, I have a little bit more texture in my hair. My hair's a little bit more voluminous, but this wouldn't be the case if I didn't protect my hair overnight. So I've shown you my curly hair overnight routine in a previous video. Video. but basically all I do is put my hair up in a pineapple bun with the front bits clipped separately and I sleep on a silk pillowcase and I absolutely love this one from Lily Silk it's super super soft my hair just glides along it this is the 19 mom silk pillowcase they have a real range of silk pillowcases on Lily Silk this is the double-sided envelope one but they also have ones with zips on I have a few of them you could get a one-sided silk pillowcase so it's silk on one side and cotton on the other but yeah I absolutely love the Lily Silk silk pillowcase it really does make such a difference to my curls when you sleep on a cotton pillowcase it can be a little bit rough on your hair it can make your hair feel dry kind of suck the moisture out but silk pillowcases help lock the moisture in your hair glides along it so it doesn't cause any matting especially this time of year another option to protect your hair overnight is a silk bonnet or a silk sleep turban like this one from Lily Silk if you have ever seen 
some of the silk bonnets that are on the market, then not all of them are all that stylish. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean if you've seen them. But this one I think is super chic. It looks really nice. It's stretchy at the back, so it's comfortable. It's actually quite roomy as well. So yeah, I really, really like this. A silk sleep turban like this is a great way to protect shorter curls overnight. Perhaps you can't fit all your hair into a pineapple, so this is a great way to protect shorter hair. It's also really good if you just want extra protection when you're sleeping on your silk pillowcase and it will glide really nicely along a silk pillowcase as well rather than if you're wearing a bonnet on a cotton pillowcase you might find that you have a bit of friction and it doesn't glide and then it might fall off. It's also a great option if you're traveling and you don't, you can just chuck this on, you don't want to take a silk pillowcase with you and worry about changing your pillowcase when you get to the hotel room. So yeah, I really really love this one, I think it's super stylish, super chic and protect your hair overnight. What more could you want? Lily Silk also have an amazing range of silk scrunchies. These are the watercolor print ones and I just think they're so pretty. I'll either use one of these to put my hair in a pineapple overnight or like a sort of phone cord style bobble. But yeah, these are really great for curly hair because they're not snagging. They glide along your hair. Another great option for sleeping with your curls and protecting your curls overnight. Now on to refreshing. So I'm actually really happy with my hair today. Day. I usually wouldn't refresh my hair if it looked like this. Usually all I will do on a day two, unless I've got somewhere to be and I want my hair to be even more popping, then I will just shake it out in the steam of the shower. But just because I've got a few bits that could do with a bit more moisture and a bit of hold, um, I'm just going to show you what I would do. So today's refresh will be a little bit different to like my usual day two refresh. I have another video on that on my channel, which I'll link above. Usually on a day two, when I refresh my hair it's because I want a bit more definition and a bit more hold because wash day is usually a bit soft for me. I would add a bit more gel back in. Today I am going to add a little bit of gel but I'm also going to add a little bit of cream as well because it's not feeling dry but it's not feeling like overly soft and I think that if I add a bit more moisture in then these bits will clump up and ringlet a bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a spray bottle with just some water in it, some curl cream. This is the Hold Me Softly Style Balm from Curlsmith, which I should have used yesterday, but I didn't because I was trying something new out. And then I've got the in shower style fix at the gel that I use on my wash day. So all I'm gonna do is very, very lightly kind of dampen my hair and then I'm gonna glaze a little bit of curl cream over and then a little bit of gel over. Okay, let's go, sleeves up. <laughs> I'm not going to worry too much about sectioning it because this is just a really quick refresh. Usually if I was going to refresh, if I was going to add more product, I would do it right after my steam refresh because my hair will be slightly damp, um, so yeah. But I've just added a little bit of product to my hands. A little bit really does go a long way. Um, I'm just going to mix a bit of water. This is the cream by the way. Little bit more cream for the other side. And I'm just really focusing the cream on the ends. I don't wanna be putting cream on this bit here because that is the part of my hair that is very soft and it doesn't need a lot of moisture. If I put too much cream on this bit, then it will just go so flat. So I'm just gonna take the smallest amount of gel. This is gonna be for both sides, I think. I think it will be enough because I already have gel on my hair, remember? So I'm just... Glazing it over this side. Scrunching it up. You might find that this refresh doesn't work for you. If your hair's really naturally dry and thick, then this may not work for you. But if you have a similar hair texture to me, then it might. Right, I'm gonna flip my head. Just glaze the excess over and scrunch. My hair is barely wet, it's just like damp. I am just gonna wet the ends just a little bit more just so I can get the clumps back and the juicy ringlets back. I use the tiniest bit of cream just to soften the hair and then the water is really what will bring the curls back and then the gel will hold it all in place and lock it all in. I am going to diffuse my hair and I will be back. I'm back and this is the result. I've scrunched it all out. I put a few clips at the root of my hair just as it was like, oh, finishing drying. Just to give me a little bit of root lift 
And yeah, I do love a good old day two refresh sometimes when I can be bothered. It's giving me volume, much better ringlets, my hair feels better, it feels more hydrated. Um, it definitely needed that bit of water and um, a little bit of extra cream for softness. Really, really happy with this day two hair now. I will pop back on tomorrow on day three and show you what it looks like. Let's hope it holds up. Good morning, today is day three hair and again like yesterday I refreshed my hair doing the steam refresh in the shower. I did protect my hair overnight in the same way as usual but I also used the bonnet last night. Usually I really struggle sleeping with something on my head. It slips off and I'm like thinking about it the whole night or it's too tight um, but this was actually the perfect size for me. It did like, it slipped up the back, just like very slightly, just like to here, and then I just pulled it down like literally once or twice in the night. But yeah, this is my day three hair. You can see that it has some frizz, it's not as defined as it has been on other days. Something that I do want to mention is that I don't wear my hair like this when I'm around the house, really. And I work from home. Like, basically, it annoys me to have this in my face. So I always use one of these clips. And I'll either just clip my hair up like this, or it will be in a pineapple until I next wash it. So don't think that I have my hair out and fully styled all the time, because the truth is, I do not, especially if I'm going out and about, I'll just pop one of these clips in because I hate like being outside and my hair will fall into my face and I'm walking and I'm carrying bags. Um, no, not for me. Um, but yeah, this is normally how I'll wear my hair like during the week or I'll do my other style that you might have seen in other of my videos or on my YouTube channel where I have like my front pieces out and then I kind of clip these bits back. So I didn't work out yesterday. I may do a workout today, but usually what I do is on wash day, I do like a sweaty workout. Then the next day I have as a rest day. Then the next day I'll either have a rest day or do like a weighted workout. And then the next day I'll wash my hair again because it'll be day four. Usually it works out that I wash my hair about twice a week. Let me show you the back because I always forget that. And there you go, that is day three hair. I'll pop back on a bit later if I do end up doing a workout. Um, yeah, goodbye. Good morning, so this is my day four hair. I haven't taken out of the pineapple yet. I didn't protect it properly overnight like with all the clips and stuff like I normally do because I know I'm gonna be washing my hair today because I'm about to do a workout. I tend to just wash my hair on a sweaty workout day like following the kind of sequence I talked you through yesterday. Let me take my hair out. I did sleep with the bonnet, but I didn't um, clip the front bits up or anything. Yesterday, I went out for a walk in the cold weather. Um, yeah, you can just see like, I think I've shown in this video that my hair kind of just gets a bit stretched out as the days go by. Um, the curls kind of disappear a bit. Um, yeah, it starts to look a little bit struggly it's so normal for it to not last that many days and i choose to wash my hair on a day four sometimes if i can't be bothered to wash it on a day four i'll just leave it in a pineapple bun until the next time that i can be bothered to wash it and if you're thinking oh my gosh my curls don't look like hannah's on a day four even though i really don't feel like this is a great hair day for me. Just remember that one, I'm in front of the window of the natural light, I've got the ring light on me, the camera is a bit flattering. And also like, we're all at different stages of our journeys. So we're not, you can't compare your hair to other people's. You can only compare your hair to your hair. So like I've been wearing my curls, embracing my curls for like four years or so. And in that time, I've tried so many different things and I definitely didn't have like long lasting wash day results at the beginning of my journey like I could barely get a day two without refreshing my hair but I found techniques on wash day that helped me I found products that helped me I found a way to protect my curls overnight that really helps my, my curls last longer time consistency trial and error and patience is what will ultimately help you achieve long-lasting wash day results and curls that you love I realized I didn't share with you how I tie my hair up for a workout so I'm gonna do that now usually if I'm doing a workout where I want to protect all of my curls and I'm not gonna be washing my hair. I will just tie my hair up how I tie it up at night with the front pieces clipped separately. But today, I'm not too worried. I just wanna make sure my hair doesn't fall in my face and that it stays in place. So I've just got um, an invisible ball. I'm just gonna put it in like a front pineapple. 
bun bring it forward like that and then I just like we'll put like a clip here to hold it in place and then I'll just like add some more clips I'm just doing a workout at home today so no one's gonna see me and even if I was like going for a run or something to be honest this would be what I'll do these clips honestly make such a difference like this is going nowhere it's going nowhere um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found it helpful seeing how my curls kind of change from one day to the next. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.